Hey, what's going how, on? How are we doing, bro? One of my favorite people on this earth. Good to see you, man. Stop it now. Stop <laughs> it. How's things going, man? I bet Philadelphia is just absolutely bonkers at the minute. It is a good time to be in Philly. I got my Red October shirt. I like your... Yep. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yeah, I saw. I saw. I saw that um, they they had a two, was it a two nil lead on the Diamondbacks last yeah, night? Yeah, already. Yeah, and then I hear that I it was a fan. So, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but the next game is in Arizona. Yep. And then the next game at Citizen Bank is like a World Series game. Yeah, because like if we win two more games, we move on to the World Series. So that's just crazy. We won ten nothing last night. You could hear Callum Scott in like three different states. You could hear it all the way in Delaware. Like it's nuts right now, man. <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> Honestly, bro. I, like I said to you last time, and I and I and I have the same sentiment this time. You have no idea the power of a song as soon as you release it. And obviously, this is a Robin song. I take absolutely no credit on the songwriting, but. The fact that this version, you know, a slowed down version and then sped up again with Tiesto has just resonated with not only the team, but the fan base. And outside of that, like I hear that it's in the streets of Philly, it's in the cafes, it's in the bars. Um, I saw this incredible video of, um, is it Xfinity Live? Mm -hmm. Um, And saw like what looks like thousands of people there singing the song. And I put on Twitter, I'm like, on X. I put like the idea of me stood there singing this to people just gives me shivers because don't get me wrong. I, I feel like when I had my audition and then released this song as a, my version of this song as a, as, a, as, as my single, I thought that, you know, that kind of wave of that euphoria of the song had maybe kind of, you know, now it's like golden oldie. And yet it's having like a brand new life where people are screaming it. And I see like, dad's like singing it to their kids and then i'm like some people are tweeting me saying oh we sang it all the way to school and people like we've not stopped it on repeat it's like it's crazy it's, it's just huge. crazy it's, it's bigger than last year like it's taken a life on its own it like, feels that way yeah. Yeah. yeah i see yeah, it feels on the that street way. i see people blasting in the streets the bars like you said it's unbelievable so what do we have to do to take you and bring you to philadelphia we need you're an honorary philadelphian you'd be the you're the biggest star in philly are you kidding me you'd be treated like royalty honestly (laughs) i've been saying this to the team because i'm like like it's gonna seem like i'm not gonna go like people are gonna be like do you not want to come like why we've just trying to like you know this in this business we just got to make things work we got to dot the i's and cross the t's and I do not want to be the jinx because I know for a fact that you guys get very like it's it's a bit you know I don't I don't want to get superstitious I don't want to get on anybody's superstition you know and so I'm so mindful of that and so respectful of that that I'm not saying I because I see some articles that say if we win the World Series then I'll perform it's never been that I'll perform whenever you guys want me to perform it's just it's got to be right. Because I don't want to come and spoil with my bad juju. I don't want to spoil like a, a gleaming record for 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 what you know for, for for the guys and everything and for the fans. I just want to be there to add to the celebration, you know. Um, and I'm completely respectful of when that happens, and I will I will wait and patiently with my bags packed and my jersey on um, until until I can come. But bro, like. I am there. Like I keep it. I keep hearing people going. You have to perform at the, was it the art museum steps or something like that? Yeah, yeah. You do the Rocky steps. I mean, I'm not sure if that's even big enough at this point. You know what I mean? Like you can, <laughs> maybe you have to do the ballpark. I think you just got to go into Citizens. That's the only way because it's going to be mayhem. It's going to be like you know one of the biggest shows ever in Philly. To be honest with you, Taylor did three sold out nights of the link. This show's going to top that. Trust me. It's going to be loud. Bro. It's going to be loud. Cal. God, now. <laughs> it just makes me so it just makes me so excited because it's it's taken on the life of its own and as an artist you release music and you hope for it to be heard and you hope for people to to make a connection with that song and I've been incredibly lucky with my own music that you know, especially a song like You Are The Reason where I've had people across the world sending me, like, them walking down the aisle, their first dance, celebrating a newborn, like, all of these, like, milestone moments with people in their lives. 
And to be part of a song where not only is it like a milestone for somebody in their personal life, but it's a milestone for a fan base. And it's a milestone for, you know, for, it's going down in history, it feels like, which is just bonkers. Like, I'm saying, like, because I'm in England and because I'm just getting on with my daily chores and I'm doing my laundry and I'm, like, going down to the post office and things like that, it just doesn't feel like it probably would if I was just mm. out doing my shopping in Philly. I think if, by the sounds of it, if I was just out at a Walgreens in Philly, I might get absolutely <laughs> It's the biggest thing at mean? Walgreens. Forget about CVS. It's it's number one at Walgreens. It's huge, man. And it's bringing everyone together. It's it's community too, right? Like strangers just having that common uh, thread of just being fans of this team, enjoying the song. Everyone feels good. And that, yeah. I'm assuming as an artist, that's what it's all about. It's like bringing people together, bringing happiness yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what you're providing. hundred percent. A hundred percent. That's like the, that's like the pinnacle of success for me is just, is being part of something or creating something or, you know, just finding something that resonates with people so deeply that it brings people together. Like you said, total strangers stood shoulder to shoulder with that one unifying song coming out of a, you know, a, a thousand upon 10,000, you know, chorus of people with, almost like just complete like an utter like determination and 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 just success and magic and all the things that are affiliated with that the positivity like the fact that it's associated so much with just bringing people together and and that celebration and that warmth is just i mean it's like harry potter style magic bro i'm not gonna lie right it's, it's unreal I, every time i see videos i'm just like it, it, I just want to be there to soak it up. And like I said, at the right moment, at the right time, whenever I'm allowed to, to come, try and keep me away. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, you're part of the fabric now of the city. I mean, you're one of the founding fathers. It's like Benjamin Franklin, <laughs> Wawa, and Callum Scott. I mean, that's just what it is <laughs> at this point. It's what it is, man. <laughs> I need like a P tattooed on my chest. Like that's that's <laughs> that's where it's going now, you know? <laughs> now, have you are you going to follow the rest of this of this season? Are you going to watch the playoff games? Like, are you are, are you, are you oh, I'm hearing about it? But will you watch the World Series? A hundred percent, man. Like, I, you know, I've I've been at some games across across the years where it's been, you know, either rivals or it's been one of those moments in time. I remember my early early stages of getting into baseball. I used to be a Blue Jays fan because I have mm. family in Canada. And I remember there was a, 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 a I think it was a batter called, is it Bautista or mm -hmm. Bautista or something like that? And there was this moment where he flicked the bat and it was kind of illegal, but everybody was like so into it. And I remember just the atmosphere of that and being like, I have never felt like anything like this in football or rugby or anything like back home. And so, of course, if I can, if I can tune in and watch this, especially live, I mean, I'm, I, I'm kind of relinquishing my sleep if I watch this live in the UK, but. It's going to be worth it. I think the UK fan page for Philly, he came over and saw the games and was just telling me, like, it's just insane over there. That atmosphere, the energy, like just people in the crowds just singing the song. It's it's something that I want to watch and witness for myself. I'd love to be there to cheer them on through the games. But if all I can do at the moment is cheer from back here, then hopefully you'll hear me screaming it across the pond. Absolutely. You're right, man. The atmosphere is electric. I've never seen anything like it. No city does it like this. It's yeah. just real. And we're all feeling, we're all very tired. You know what I mean? But like the <laughs> adrenaline's keep, no one has slept. We're all eating badly. We're all drinking. It's, it's been, you know, I feel like all, it feels like I'm playing in the games at this point. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's nutty, man. But, uh, and, and how are you, it took me like 10 minutes to get into this. How are you doing? Oh man. I like I, I couldn't be happier at the minute, man. I am so content and so happy where I'm at in not only in my career but in my personal life as well. I just feel like I've hit stride in life. I was I turned 35 last week, and so I just feel like I've hit an age where I'm appreciative, I'm positive, I'm upbeat. Like I'm letting go of a lot of like negativity and just stuff that I've held for load many years. You know, as an artist, you you become hypercritical of yourself and you want to hit these milestones and just watching, especially like I said, with the, with the song and, and how it's had this new life and how that's introducing me to a whole new lot of people in Philadelphia is there's no need to worry, man. I think as long as I keep doing what I do and I love what I do and can live and die by it, then who knows what might happen? You know, I never knew that this would have a second life and yet here we are 
talking about it again for the second year with them inches away from the World Series. It's insane. And like, <laughs> it, and that makes me think, do you know, why is that? Why am I sat here in my studio worrying? Oh my God, I hope people like this. I hope people like that. If I stay true to what I do and and I, and I write stuff from the heart and I'm in, I'm part of things like dancing on my own or whatever it is that that makes me feel something, I'm not going to be the only one. And I think that's been such a refreshing feeling to just kind of cast that doubt aside and just go, I'm just going to do me, you know. And then all this stuff that's happening with Philly is unbelievable. I've just announced a, a run of shows in Europe, which I'm really excited about. I'm working on the third album. Releasing, I've just released a new song called "At Your Worst." At which, your worst. I was going to say that we, I love that one too. And uh, Philly fan, like you got to support "At Your Worst." It's a great song. You got to support you, that one too. My man, Cal's got bangers. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, bro. I, I, I appreciate, it, man. But like, you know what? I just thought this is a new era for me. I think my collaborations with uh, "Where Are You Now" with Lost Frequencies and with Jax Jones with Whistle, it's two songs that went down so well when I did my uh, run in America, my world tour. Um, it, I, I think it's influenced my music a little bit. I feel a little bit more, dare I say it, positive about mm. about stuff. And so, like the music I'm releasing is is starting to have that kind of effect. You know, I'm I'm re I'm releasing stuff that feels a little bit more boppy and a little bit more exciting. And don't get me wrong, I still want to make people cry. I still want to make people <laughs> sob. But like, I just feel like with everything that's going on, I kind of want to stretch my versatility and see. You know, if I push the boundaries, what happens? And you know, it's 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 an exciting time for me. I feel I feel so content, man. I can't even tell you. That makes me that makes me feel so happy. I love this perspective. It's like if you stay true to your heart, the universe kind of takes care of the rest. You know what I mean? I, that's what I think, so, man. I like I said, you, you know, we we all are guilty of it. Not just people who are in music, but we're all guilty of you know analyzing and being critical of ourselves and putting ourselves down and. I just think that it's it's a very natural thing to do, but sometimes you listen to that negative voice too often and it and it makes you believe the negative things you're thinking. And so I just had to do a flip reversal and be like, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna silence that voice for a little bit. I'm gonna concentrate on the things that make me smile, make me positive. Looking at my feed is just like a dream come true every morning, just watching like the winds coming in and seeing everybody like <laughs> the high fiving and music's playing and that I mean that's always good for the soul, but I think, like you said, just staying true to yourself and, you know, living and dying by the sword and, and, and you know, believing in what you do. I think it's just, it's been so refreshing for me, man. I've, I've never felt, I've never felt happier. That's incredible. That's amazing. And if you really <laughs> want to feel happy, you come over to Philadelphia. I think, <laughs> yeah. I think when we win the World Series, right? When we win the whole thing, you come over, it'll be the biggest thing in the world. Like oh, bro. I, I'm telling you now, right? If, if, when I get that invite over, I'm telling you now, it's probably I'm inviting gonna you. be uh, well, I mean, of course. <laughs> I, I've got to be there for that. But if I get like the official invite from the team, if the if 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 the if yeah, you know, and everybody is like, we want you here, this is the time. I am gonna be a nervous wreck walking through for the airport. Cause I can just I can almost now like feel the excitement and the energy and for a whole city to be singing a song that I've been a part of. And to hear that resonating down the streets and stuff, it's probably going to be one of the first in my career where it's it's blown up to this to this amount. And like I'm watching, I'm watching, like I said, my feed, and people are like, "So does this guy get a ring if they win the World Series?" I'm like, "What? what? Do I? That would be so cool." I think I already saw that they point. put it down I don't know the rules on the ring, right? What's that? They, on last year, they they had the they had dancing on my own on the ring, didn't they? Yeah, Something like yeah. That. I mean, how cool is that, man? Mind blowing. We need to we need to call Robin because if <laughs> if it's mind blowing for me, I don't know how the hell it's gonna be for her. Right. I mean. Right. Imagine, imagine me and Robin walk out in Philly and Tiesto. Madness, Ma please. Let's speak that into the manifest. Manifest, Manifest. Yes, we're manifesting all of this right now. We're, this is not uh, bad juju. We're manifesting. We're hard at work right now. This is what we're doing. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, I got to say, I, I just feel so welcomed and so warmly received by the people of Philadelphia, people who are already fans, new fans, people who don't care, who just love the song. Like, I, I'm so, I feel so welcomed and I want Philly to know that, you know, it's, it's a very special place in my heart as Philadelphia. I already did. But to have this again and to be part of it is just, it's such an honor and such a privilege. And I feel 
so honored to be part of it, honestly. Oh man, it's so good to to catch up and and to see you again. And and listen, we will welcome you at the airport. It'll be like the Beatles in the '60s. We're gonna we're gonna just we'll have the red carpet out for you, man. I mean, and I hope to hear you every October moving forward too. Like what what Michael Bublé is for Christmas, you are to fall in Philadelphia. Like you are a part of you're you're it. I I love that, and it's it's my birthday month as well. So like. It makes sense. I mean, I feel like Philly kind of won it for my birthday, which is a beautiful birthday present. They really didn't need to, but I'm glad they did. <laughs> it was meant to be this whole time. It was it in the was stars. Meant to be. It was meant to be, man. I'm just worried in case they asked me to throw the first pitch because not that I want to name drop people, but I watched Conor McGregor's and I felt for the bloke because I was just like, uh, where did I that? saw that. Like, I would just be in bits. And I'm not the strongest of throwers, but... It's like that would kill me. Imagine before, like before they even want me to sing, they ask me to throw the first pitch. It goes horribly wrong. I'm booed off. They <laughs> they throw the song in the bin. They get Taylor Swift on. It's the stuff of nightmares, man. Stuff of nightmares. <laughs> uh, start start stretching. Loose I know. I know. You I got get my this. throwing arm on now. <laughs> I believe in you, and we'd forgive you if you would in the dirt. It's all, it's all good. At this point, you are our good luck charm. You can get away with anything. Are you kidding me? Uh, thank <laughs> you, bro. Thank you, bro. And again, thank you so much to all of the people who've supported me, not only through the career, but through this new phase of, of just being so warmly received by people of Philadelphia. It, to be this side of the pond and to know that that's going on, is it really is an honor. You, do, you don't think about these things before they happen, and when they do, you're just... Like I said, I, I could get I could get emotional just on how how warmly received I feel and how welcomed I feel. So God knows what it'd be like if I get there. I'm just gonna be in tears. Absolutely. I believe it too. I mean, you've brought together so many walks of life, so many families and strangers, and it's just a really good time. And you've provided the soundtrack, the backdrop of all of this. So Callum, thank you so much. Good to talk to you. And I will be seeing you in person shortly. You're going to pick me up from the airport, right? Absolutely. I got you. I'll be your personal Uber. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> exec, bro. Exec. <laughs> yeah, this ain't no Uber X. I got you. <laughs> Love you, Callum. I'll see you soon, all right? Thank you, bro. Take care.